Good morning, my dear students. I wish you all a very happy big head, a break, and thank God for keeping us all safe and sound. My dear kids, have you all completed your previous assignments? If you have not started yet, immediately, without hesitation, complete those so that it will be easy for you at the time of submission. Moreover, God will be happy with your performance and bless you abundantly. My dear kids, also regularly and slowly read all the assignments like meanings, opposites and question answer thoroughly. This I am saying not only for your exam point of view but also for your development. Do you know that there is a maximum limit of words and sentences that a kid can learn at each and every particular age. For example, by the age of 18 months, infants can typically produce about 50 words and begin to make word combination. By the age of 5, children tend to have an expressive vocabulary of 2,100 to 2,200 words. By the age of 6, they have approximately 2,600 words of expressive vocabulary and 20,000 to 24,000 words of receptive vocabulary. Children also experience a sudden acceleration of 20 words per day. Then, from age 6 to 8, the average child in school is learning 6 to 7 words per day. And from age 8 to 9, approximately 12 words per day. So, what I am trying to explain is, learn by reading, learn by hearing, also learn by observing or seeing. Okay guys? Now, I am going to ask some few questions. Just check how much you have observed the lessons so far and how good your memory is. But no need to worry guys. The questions will be that much simple only. My first question is so far how many characters we have come across in this lesson? The cherry tree. Second question is name the location where the story is taking place. The third question is, what the meaning of privacy in our lessons? Fourth question is, how much Rakesh paid for that bunch of cherries that he bought? Fifth question is, name the tune that Rakesh used for planting the cherry seed. Okay, can you give a comment of how much marks we have scored out of five? My appreciations to all those who have participated and a special applause to God 5 out of 5. While others must concentrate on our class to score full points. Okay? Will you do that? Good. Now, let me give you a fast recap of what we have learned in our past two classes of chapter 2, the cherry tree. Rakesh. A six-year-old boy was living in the outskirts of Missouri with his grandfather, who is a retired forest ranger. One day, when Rakesh was on his way home from school, he bought a bunch of cherries and started eating one by one. When he reached home, he had uh, only three left. He gave one to his uh, grandfather and he ate the other two. His grandfather advised him to plant the last seed in the garden. As for the guidance given by his grandfather, Rakesh planted the cherry seed in the shady corner of the garden. Later, he forgot all about the cherry seed. Minding his words, one year later, during winter, one fine morning, Rakesh noticed that the cherry tree has come out with the well rooted. Grandfather advised Rakesh to water it. Rakesh immediately sprinkled water over it and circled with bubbles for protection. Cherry tree slowly grew inch after inches. 
monsoon came and the plant grew quickly until this we have discussed so far now let us continue and finish the lesson today carefully listen to the page while reading the lesson gently i am going to read the book please listen carefully it was about 2 feet high when a goat entered the garden and ate all the leaves only the main stem and the two thin branches remained never mind said grandfather seeing that rakesh was upset it will grow again cherry trees are tough toward the end of the rainy season new leaves appeared on the tree then a woman cutting grass cut the cherry tree in two when the grandfather saw what had happened he went after the woman and scolded her but the damage could not be repaired maybe it will die now said rakesh maybe said grandfather but the cherry tree had no intention of dying in this era the plant grew about 2 feet one day a goat entered the garden and ate all the leaves of the cherry plant leaving the main stem of two thin branches rakesh was very upset grandfather consoled him saying the cherry tree was tough and they will grow again as grandfather said at the end of rainy season new leaves appeared on the plant second came a woman cutting grass who cut the plant into two when grandfather saw this he got very angry he went after the woman and scolded her rakesh felt so much for the cherry tree he thought that the plant will die there the grandfather motivated rakesh that the plant had no intention of dying in this content we could learn two aspects of our life first when the role of our parents and other elders of our family as well as school playing a major role in developing a kid in this lesson we could understand the various values that rakesh grandfather tried to inculcate in the heart of rakesh slowly and steadily like teach him to plant the seed the location to plant it to irrigate and to protect its growth grandfather also motivates him ever whenever rakesh get upset because of the disturbance of the cherry tree the goat or by the lady secondly we could understand that it is not that much easy to grow the maintain and develop a sapling in your field there will be many obstacles that enter to disturb the growth and survival this development concept also implies for us apart from parents point of view that it is difficult to develop kids like you in your point of view also it is that much difficult to control and be self disciplined in all circumstances if you are all self disciplined which means a special applause and compliment for you uh, just keep in your mind that your self disciplinary should not reduce or change at any circumstance then only you are a human else your behavior will make others call you are animal we understand by the time summer came around again it had sent several new shoots with tender green leaves rakesh had grown taller too he was eight now a sturdy boy with a curly black hair and deep black eyes blackberry grandfather called them months old rakesh grew later he was eight years old then he grew into a sturdy boy with a curly black hair and deep black eyes grandfather admired his black eyes as black berries berries are small pulpy and often edible fruits since his eyes were black and round grandfather admired so it was a summer new summer branches with tender green leaves arose from the plant that monsoon rakesh went home to his village to help his father and mother with the planting and plowing and sowing he was thinner 
but stronger when he came back to the grandfather's house at the end of this rains to find that the cherry tree had grown another foot it was now up to his chest monsoon came and that year rakesh had to go home to his village to help his father and mother they were farmers rakesh helped them in taking care of the farm he helped them in sowing and ploughing even though he appeared weak he was strong in the higher classes you will be learning the various stages of farming which includes preparation of soil selection and sowing the seeds irrigation that is watering the plants weeding that is removing the weeds crop protection harvesting the seed and the storage of grains
The eagerness of Rakesh did not stop. He returned to his grandfather's house at the end of the rainy season to check the growth of the cherry plant. The cherry plant had grown another foot high and it was about to Rakesh's chest. Even when there was rain, Rakesh would sometimes water the trees. He wanted it to know that he was there. One day, he found a bright green praying mantis perched on the branch, peering at him with bulging eyes. Rakesh let it remain there. It was a cherry tree's first visitor. Whatever changed the habit of watering the cherry plant did not change in Rakesh. He watered the green tree even when it was raining. He wanted to show his presence there to the cherry plant. One day, Rakesh found a bright green praying mantis perched on the branch of a cherry seed. Perch means resting on something. The insect peered at him with its bulging eyes. This insect is a cherry tree first visitor as a tree. Mantises are insects that are found worldwide in temperate and tropical forests. Temperate regions are those that are characterized by mild temperatures. Tropical regions are those that lies roughly in the middle of the globe that is near the equator. Mantises are known as prey mantis as their four legs appear when like in prey position. Have you seen this uh, mantis ever anywhere? Even if you have not seen anywhere directly, you might have at least seen in some animation movies. When Rakesh saw the mantis that is resting on the branch of the cherry tree, he did not got upset or angry. He simply let them to remain or rest there. This might be because of two reasons. First one is carelessness. Usually, kids, when they grow up, they also develop carelessness. This you might hear from your parents saying to the teachers that you are perfect in lower class. Now, not so. In similar way, as Rakesh viewed carelessness, also might have grown along with him. Secondly, Rakesh might let the mantis to remain there because already we have seen some strangers like old, old lady, etc. When the plant was so young, now the cherry tree had almost grown, so he might be bold enough that nothing would happen to his cherry, cherry tree due to this small insect. My dear guys, you must be aware of these kinds of insects because there are some dangerous insects like locust, grasshopper, which can destroy a huge agricultural land just overnight, that is a one full night. Because of these kinds of insects, farmers always face a lot of troubles and loss. Then came a hairy caterpillar, which ate the leaves of the cherry tree. At this situation, Rakesh was not happy. He immediately removed the caterpillar. He left it on the heap of dry leaves. He advised the insect to come again after molding into a beautiful butterfly. Caterpillars are also voracious feeders of uh, plant leaves, that is, they feed more on the plant leaves. My dear friends, if you find any these sort of insects in your garden, immediately you must remove them from the plants. Okay? Dear students, by this time, did you understood another specific nature of Rakesh? Already we have learned that he is a uh, kind hearted obedient to elders, helping mind, especially to his parents and grandparents. Sincere in his duties, natural lover, and educated. Adding to all this above said, in this para, we could understand his another special character, that is, he is not a person who disturbs or destroys the other patients of God. I have seen some humans who intentionally disturb or damage the environment, either the plants or animals, sometimes even another human are for no reason.
today's assignment my dear students write the question answer displayed in the screen in your notebook neatly Thank you. We will meet in the next class. God bless you all.